Hi, this is Matt Peshan with Mankato Web Design, and some of my clients have asked me um, how to use WordPress, how to do basic things like upload photos, how to edit pages, add blog posts, etc. So I thought I'd film this little quick video uh, for blog posting and show you how to do it. So here we go. Um, I'm going to be using one of my clients' websites as an example. Uh, just show you how I'll log in and go over a few things. Um, okay, so here we go. All right. So this is one of my clients, Kaplan Law, and on their website, if you go down to the bottom, they have a login link, which we click, and we get the WordPress login screen, which I then type in the username and the password, and we get logged in. And this is our dashboard. When we first get logged in, the main things you got to be concerned about are the left-hand sidebar. Um, if you're going to be editing a page, all you have to do is hit page on the left-hand side. So we'll do that. Pages. Um, after hitting pages, you'll see a list of all of your pages. And you will also see over here, if you have more pages than normal, here they have 70 pages. Um, you can click one, two, three, four to cycle through the rest of the pages. They're all in alphabetical order. Um, so example, I'll start here with Alan Kaplan, which is going to be his profile. So when I click it, I get the title of the page. I get the content of the page, get his photo, and I get the update page button. So if I want to make changes to this, it's like using a Word document. You just have to start typing things in, editing things, and it'll basically take care of itself. So um, over here in the corner too, you'll see there's a little thing you can pull. It'll give you more room to work with. So these icons right here are what you have to know. Um, upload insert right here. Those are going to be for uploading images or PDF files or documents, anything people want to download. Bold italicize. If you hover over these things, they tell you what they do. You know, that's bullet points. Um, there is a button right here. If you click it, just show high, uh, show icon kitchen sink. It will expand and contract additional options, for, like changing color and everything. So you know, if you wanted to highlight this, and we wanted to change that from blue to black, we just do that, unbold it. That's all you got to do. Pretty simple. Um, with photos, you can click on a photo, right click it, and then you get these little icons in the corner, so you can kind of adjust the size of it if you'd like. Um, and then if you want to do some additional options with the photos that are already on your pages, you click on the photo and you can either delete it or you can hit edit image, which then gives you this screen. And with this screen, you can use this to adjust the size of the photo. You can kind of see how it gets bigger and smaller. Um, left, right, that's just for aligning the photo. Um, and when you're done, you just hit update on the bottom. But we also have an advanced settings tab right here. And if you click on that, you also get options such as border, um, vertical and horizontal space. Uh, typically, I will add one pixel border around an image and give vertical space of five and vertical space of, I mean, horizontal space of 15. And that will allow for some padding between the paragraphs and the photo itself. Um, you can kind of see that as an example right here. It's not all scrunched up, the picture and the text. So uh, that's that. And t if I wanted to add a photo to this page, just go right here, add an image. Screen turns black, it's loading. You hit select files right here. Screen pops up. You go and you find a photo you want to upload. Um, there's one. Starts uploading progress bar. After it's done, you see a little icon of the picture itself. You see link URL, and that means when somebody clicks on the photo that you're uploading, will it go to, where will it go to? Will it go to the source of the image, or will it go to a website? If I wanted the image to go to google.com, when somebody clicks on it, just adjust, the URL, just adjust that accordingly in link URL. 
Um, alignment, if I want the photo aligned, not aligned, aligned to the left, center, or right, I can choose that here. And that just means aligned within the paragraphs of the content. Uh, size, normally it's 2000, uh, sorry, 1,400 pixels by 1190, that's pretty big. So I'll choose medium so it's kind of sized down and I will uh, hit save changes. Oh, sorry, I'll hit insert into post actually because I want to put it there. So now we got that photo in replacement of the old photo. Um, just like before, you can click it, drag the corners and make adjustments to size and everything. If I wanted to add padding and everything, I could go back and hit edit image and go through all these steps again where I hit advanced settings and put border as one, vertical space is five, horizontal space is 15. Go down to the bottom, hit update, and get a nicer looking image. So that's how you edit a page um, and some images. After you're done doing that, you wanna make sure you go ahead and click update page. And that's gonna go ahead and save your changes. And you'll know they're saved because you'll see this, which says page updated view page. Um, if you do that, you'll see it changed. So that's how you do that. Um, now to add a blog posting, instead of going to pages, you just go within posts right here on the side. You hit add new to add a new post. You type in a title for the blog article, such as whatever. Um, and like a Word document, you just type in your blog right here. And you can use all these familiar icons, embedding images, everything we just went over. And when you're done, um, you click over here on publish, and that will publish, uh, publish the blog to the blog section of your website. Um, another thing I get asked a lot is how to make links within the content. So we'll do that real quick. All right, so we'll go back to pages, and we'll go back to Alan Kaplan page we were working on before. Um, I'm gonna change out this image here in a second, so I'm gonna delete it. And say we want to uh, make the words 35 year career a link. We'll highlight it first. We'll hit this icon where it says insert edit link. Uh, you'll get a screen that pops up. And within that screen that pops up, you will want to type in the URL of where you want that text to go. Uh, be linked to and just hit update and that's all you got to do. So uh, if you have any questions just give us a call 612-558-1020 and get a web design. Thanks. Bye.